Now I would like to call Toastmaster Rahul for the stage for his speech. How many of us know about artificial intelligence? Show of hands please. It is the development of systems which enable them to perform certain activities which otherwise would require human intelligence. How many of us have traversed through emotional intelligence? Show of hands again please. Okay. So it is the ability of an individual to be aware of, control and express one's emotions. It is this ability which helps an individual to manage the interpersonal and intrapersonal relationships effectively, judiciously and empathetically. It is this intelligence which is hardwired onto an individual which makes him to fall in love at first sight and also for few to apply for divorce right after the first fight. Toastmaster of the evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests, you better buckle up because we are going to move and groove when we talk about K. I. It is kinesthetic intelligence. Howard Gardner, a research psychologist, in the year 1999 proposed that there are nine types of intelligence of which kinesthetic intelligence is one amongst them. It is the ability of the body using the patterns of movement to solve problems, to communicate and to learn. Let's take one step at a time. Solving problems. Any conversation about movement, be it be on any context, is primarily about brain-body coordination. Brain is our CPU, Central Processing Unit, Problem Solver. As long as we are aware of this fact, we can control this brain-body coordination, we can influence it to our advantage. Biomedical research now says that cortisone is a powerful hormone secreted during times of stress. And it is this hormone which is very powerful immune cell inhibitor. What is all this about? In our current rat race culture, where we traverse from one deadline over to the other, we are under chronic stress, which makes us to go sick. And while we are sick, what happens up here? It starts to malfunction. Now let's get to the point. What is stress? Stress is a perception of things that has happened, is happening or may happen later. And what is a perception? It is a framework of thoughts. Mahatma Gandhiji said, it's your thoughts that eventually become your actions. In a different school of thought, if you think, wouldn't your actions influence your thoughts, maybe for good? This is exactly what was proven by the science of neurogenesis that demonstrated that being involved in aerobic activities nurtures your brain cells far beyond than participating for quiz, puzzles, word games, etc. The second point that is learning through kinesthetics. Typically there are three types of learners. There are visual learners, auditory learners and kinesthetic learners. Visual learners, as the name suggests, they look at visual presentations, take down notes, integrate it so that they can decipher it, interpret it, store and retrieve on demand. Auditory learners, on the other hand, in addition to visual, they need audible aids. These are those kids who would like to record their speeches, go over it over and over again to learn. Or kids in our normal households who read notes aloud because that is their way of written information. The third type of learning is kinesthetic learning. Teaching content by movement gives us the advantage of environmental memory. If we ask a couple of students to count their steps as they move around the circle. And once they do that, ask them to go right across the circle, counting their steps. Implicitly, very effortlessly, we have taught them circumference and diameter. Listening, reading, discussing are all the explicit modes of learning. Yes, both of them go hand in hand. I agree. However, kinesthetic learning is the brain's preferred way to learn. That is what the research in this field suggests. Now let's go to the third one, which is communicate using kinesthetics. People often say, you have to walk your talk. 
which means you have to practice what you preach. Leave the jargon aside, if you can see, I have tried to incorporate as much as kinesthetics possible in my speech, hoping that I can make a point. Let's have a small, with your permission of course, a small interaction here where I would be showing certain movements typical to Bollywood actors. And you would have to guess them. Are we ready? Yes. Are we ready? Yes. Okay, the first one. Salma. You got it, mate? Dabang. Yes. <laughs> the next one. Mohabatin. Mohabatin, <laughs> Thank you. Is this point loud and clear to us? Our brain is hardwired to link movements with information and implicitly retrieves it. Over this rigmarole presentation, I would like to reach out to my audience and say, please don't limit ourselves to emotional intelligence. Don't get swayed away with artificial intelligence. But divulge deep inside into your physical sense and try to Try, just try to incorporate kinesthetics in your movement because it will help you to get motivated. It will help you to achieve better in your academics. And beyond all, you can choose wellness to sickness. Over to you, Toastmaster.